Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to write an application to um, capture all the screens on the desktop as one big bitmap. And I'm going to use Windows Forms so I don't have to add any um, references. So let's define a method. The, the method's going to be called in the constructor and it's going to be called capture desktop. And within this method, we're going to get a rectangle that represents all of the screens. So we're just going to get a, rec a rectangle that encompasses all the screens. So I'm going to call this desktop rect. I'm going to refer to all of the screens combined as the desktop. I don't think it's proper to use the word display because on Windows, uh, display means a single screen. So the method that we're going to define here is get desktop bounds. And we're just going to make this static and this static here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle here. Uh, call it result is equal to new rectangle and use a for each loop for each rectangle rect in whoops we are going to have to use screen for each screen screen in screen that all screens um, and then we're just going to use the combine method or what it's called the union method to combine the rectangles uh, so that they're like a bigger rectangle. It doesn't subtract or anything, of course. The problem with the combine method is that it only accepts two rectangles at a time. It'd be nice if, if you could actually just use params and then pass in as many rectangles as you want. Um, but, hey, what, what can you do? So, I am going to just assigned to re results and we're going to use rectangle union and the first rectangle will be result the second rectangle will be screen dot bound so the current iterated screen and its boundaries then we'll just return result and you can convert this to a link expression if you like this for some reason but I'm not too fond of that that specific expression so now that we have our desktop rectangle we can capture the screen so let's create a bitmap up here and just gonna be a normal bitmap with the desktop size so desktop dot width I, I really don't know why there isn't an overload just to pass in a size because I often find myself doing stuff like this now we're gonna have to use copy from screen so we're gonna use the graphics object and we're gonna use a static method graphics from image which will define the drawing surface as the above defined bitmap and then we'll use copy from screen and we're going to find an overload so this is the one that I'm going to use the point point and then size so the point appears the source which is going to be desktop rect dot location and the destination will be empty uh, just zero zero so it doesn't it's not offset in the bitmap and then the block region size so that's going to be bitmap.size we are going to call bitmap.save and we're going to save it as a PNG so let's do that and I don't recommend using this overload here with the single string actually specify the image format 
by the way, if you use the single string overload, it's going to save it as a PNG. It does in my case, at least. Which is kind of weird, because if you look at the documentation, it states that it's going to save it as a PNG, but in the sample code, they use a .bmp for the extension in the, the file name. So, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to run the application. It's going to save it. And we can take a look at it. And there it is. So, I think I'm zoomed, yeah. So there it is. Those are both my screens. And I have Camtasia running, so I got that little green thing up there. And that's it. See ya.